and welcome back. And as was promised earlier in the show, we are joined by Chef Ainsley, Hello. the one and only. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and uh, Chef Ainsley, today you'll be cooking up some bundiga. That's correct. That's correct. Well, welcome and thank you for being here. All right. <laughs> so we're doing traditional Garifuna style, right? That's correct. Okay. So tell us a little bit about bundiga before we start. All right. So with bundiga, it's it made out of green um, banana. Uh -huh. In Garifuna, we call it bimena. Uh -huh. And we're going to grate the green banana. Mm -hmm. And we're going to add some coconut milk. It's like a dumpling. Okay. Yeah. okay. Then I got some. I got, it, I, got, I got the coconut already grated with some garlic and mm -hmm. also. Uh, some add seasoning. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Add the garlic. It's just simple salt and pepper. Real so it's going fashion. to be like a soup yeah. with dumplings. Yeah, yeah. Right? Usually, now, I, I, I would call it like a banana dumpling, but it's bundiga. <laughs> banana dump, but green banana. People can expect it to be sweet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is it a complicated recipe? No, no, no. It's very easy. You're going to see how quick we're going to do this. Okay, Ready? well, let's see. All right. <laughs> so you're going to show us, uh, first of all, you have fresh coconut Freshly milk. Freshly grated coconut milk. This is two coconut. Ooh. And I already had garlic to it. Mm-hmm. So garlic is one of our favorite ingredients. We have also. just the cloves of garlic yeah. there, and we have uh, some seasoning because yeah. you see green yeah, bits I got in some, there. I got some herbs. That's your secret yeah, seasoning. So, yeah, that's correct. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we're not getting all the secrets this yeah. morning. So for that now, Marlene, I'm gonna ask you to assist me here because okay. what you're gonna do, I want you to grate this um, green banana for me. All right, please. So, so this is what it looks like. This yeah. is the banana you want to get. Already peel already. And you have it like, soaking in water? That's correct, so you don't get um, dark the, on your... Now, this is actually very hard to um, yeah. wow, to look. peel, right? No, no, it's very easy. You sure? Yeah, so what, for peeling it, I'll just cut it. Show a very little quick way to peel it and so you can do a comb. Then I just get my knife and I come right all the way down. Uh-huh. I just... So I like what you did. You soaked it in water so yeah. that you could right. prevent it from getting brown. Yeah. Then I just take the green banana. I'll peel it. And there we got the green banana already peeled. Nothing very, like very the very traditional green. Are you so fast that happened? <laughs> yeah, that's correct. <laughs> so if you compare this to like a hudut, hudut we know we have the, the planting. Yeah. That's the that's the green and the ripe plantain yeah. and the coconut mixed up also. together. Yeah, but correct. this one is going to be just the green banana. Is it yeah, going to be just to salty? Be... What is it going to taste uh, like? No, you're going to season it with salt and black pepper. Uh huh. Then I'm going to add some cilantro. I got some habanero pepper also. Ooh. And onion if you like. Habanero can... makes everything taste yeah, better. Yeah, you can plate it if you play and plate it and add as much stuff that you want. And this is a sticky texture. Sticky. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> <You love her>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Marlene. You think so I couldn't handle a greater <laughs> Chef Ainsley? Come on. <laughs> I'll give you a next banana just to show you. Correct, correct. <laughs> and obviously, you can see how easy this is. So, um, Marlene, we're going to do two things with this green banana. We're going to do also, we're going to do a uh, darasa. Oh. So, that is the plantain leaf, and also, we got the coconut milk that we got here and we got it. we're going to mix it up in the green banana and then we're going to I like that so we're up. doing two things with, with one. one ingredient <laughs> we have some on the other side so all, all right. right my hands are clean just in case anybody <laughs> was wondering <laughs> all right do so we need more that's okay i'm going to do the rest for the for the bonega then i got you to do the um oh are you saying my process is slow no 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 <laughs> <laughs> we're having fun <laughs> all right so i ask you to mix that up for me please all right with some Milk. Coconut milk. Yeah, that's enough. All right. Some. So this is for the darasa. Yeah, some fresh colantro. Mm -hmm. Then you're gonna add it right in the middle here and roll it like a tamale. So once again, we just have grated green bananas. We put in some seasoning, which is salt and whatever Black herbs. Yeah, and some colancho. And that and colancho. Then we'll it right here and pull like a tamale. Here we got one prepared, but this one is gonna be prepared by Marlene. <laughs> colancho, <laughs> just now, you know, I love the smell of colancho. It's great in soup. It's great in so many other I things. Think it's great at things. Sure. 
you go ahead and show yeah. people how the chef does it compared <laughs> to me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so now we take this. I'm making my first ever darasa. Let's see if you guys can see this on camera. All right. So I've mixed it all up here. That's correct. And I'm gonna put it in the middle like a tamales. And you're gonna I've never made tamales <laughs> here, so. For real? <laughs> no. You got an idea of it though. Yeah, to put it in and, and fold it up. Also, I'm gonna have this um, darasa tomorrow. You can hit me up on Facebook. I'm gonna have it on my daily menu. And also, Ali. on Friday, I'm gonna do a hudut. Ooh. And also, I'm gonna have sahau. Sahau. Now tell us about sahau. Sahau is one of our favorites. I need that, especially Mine for I'm getting too. old. <laughs> so tell us, but sahau is a drink. It's yeah. a traditional drink, right? Yeah, it's right? like a porridge. And what is it made from? Coconut milk, cassava, and you just flavor it up with some nutmeg, some cinnamon. So I like to add brandy in it. into it? Yeah. So you fold them together? Yeah. No, just like oh. I can show you there. Yeah, see, I didn't... <laughs> Did Start I put again. too much in? No, no, no. Um, <laughs> they, 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 they. <laughs> they um, I love his face. Right, it's like, right, oh, how right. am I, I going to fix it, I got this? it. I, I was not supervising well just now. I know. <laughs> all right. So. so it's supposed to be on top of that? It's, um, should, it, it should go on top of that for real, and then we we'll go it in the foil. Oh, see? <laughs> <laughs> Not major, just a little. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm, 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 this is my, I made sure to tell everybody this was my first time doing <laughs> Sarasa. So once again, we're letting you know we have two things on, uh, that we're making. We're making darasa, which is kind of like a tamales. Yeah, so it transfer right here. Man. But it's made out of green banana. And we have green banana with coconut milk some seasoning and some fresh cilantro. That's correct. All right. And look at me, I'm looking like a chef now. So, <laughs> so here we got the green food. banana. Gonna drop right in the coconut milk. Here we go again. All right, so. It was the same process yeah, you did there, right? That's correct. I have a very <laughs> hot darasa yeah, here. Wow, there you good. go. <laughs> that's gonna boil. That's gonna boil for like 15 to 20 minutes. Uh -huh. and you should be good with that. So we brought the coconut milk to a boil. Yeah. All right. And then you just put in the green banana like dumplings that's in there. That's correct. And that's it? That that would be what Bundega is? Uh, I'm gonna flavor it up now. I done mm -hmm. season it up with some salt and black pepper. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add some colancho that I already washed already. Mm -hmm. Flavor it up. Oh. One of my favorite I'm gonna add in there also. Yes. It's two habanero pepper. Okay. And then we're just gonna simmer it down. So that will be ready. Just gonna make sure it, it cooks all the way. So good. Yeah. So give us a little bit of the secret with the seasoning. Now, what's the, what, what do you have to have in there? We know colantro is one. Garlic is another. Coconut milk. Uh huh. Onions. The green banana. Okay. Grated. Nice. Then after that, I you can also eat it with corn fish. That's one of my favorite also. Are we making that too? No, no, no. I bring um oh. I bring some um. Some, um, in Garifuna, we call it galali. Galali. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you never had much faith in me, though. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to do it two ways. Um, usually, you can add your fish to it, or you okay. can half fry. Right. Half fry. Right. Yeah, but okay. we're going to do it two ways today. So we're gonna Which do way it. do you normally do it? I usually half fry mine. Yeah. Yeah, I usually half fry mine, but we're going to do it two ways I like my hudut with the half fried fish. Too. Yeah. Is that how you're gonna do it on Friday? Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm gonna good. fry it. I got a nice jew fish that I got, and also I got a nice um, snapper mm. all the way from PG. All the way from PG, <laughs> so it tastes even better because it comes from PG. You, you know what's going on for real. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us, we were talking about the sahau before we get distracted with, with yeah. my attempt at darasa. Mm -hmm. um, it's made out of cassava, and yeah. it's a drink that you have, like a porridge, right? Yeah. Okay. We have some there? Yeah, we got some right here. Mm -hmm. Just going to transfer it here. And we're going to get a nice display with these saho after this. Yes. To the ending of the shoot. It's a very, very easy. And it's a nice filling meal, too. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. 
So you can smell that coconut milk and that plantain and everything is simmering down. And the habanero and yeah. fish. <laughs> Can't wait to try this, right? Definitely. Yeah. I think everybody's used to seeing how to make hodot that we're glad you, you brought something different Yeah, yeah, today. that's correct. Every time every, everybody is hodot, hodot and you can you got a lot of different stuff that you can do. You can do tapo, you can do hodot. Yeah. One of my favorite also is the fry fish with cassava bread. It's okay. Very easy and simple. Just regular fry fish you eat it yeah, with the cassava yeah. bread? and also you, got, you can do the grated green green banana also, uh -huh. arabada. What you do, fry it? Yeah, and a little bit of oil. Come like a, like like a, a fritter. Yeah, that's correct. Oh. <laughs> that's correct, that's correct. Like a now you use fresh coconut milk. If somebody's trying this at home, can they use like the canned one? Yeah, you can use the canned one, but I recommend fresh. Everything I usually cook is usually fresh. Definitely. Stuff. I mean, you yeah. want a nice fresh coconut milk if you could get it. But I'm so just I, saying for people who are trying to do it at home, mm -hmm. um, they can use the canned one as well. Yeah, they can use the canned one. Let's work too. <laughs> All right. So here, one of the bonga already holding its shape. Look. Now I noticed that you don't touch the bone nigga at all. Yeah, because I don't want it to separate off because if you tamper with it, you're going to just loosen up. Yeah, so you're waiting for it to be able, oh, they want to see it. Now you have to touch it. Yeah. Looking mm, good. Look at that bob. And how long does it take to cook? The bone nigga? Mm -hmm. um, well, this one, we do some huge ones, so you're going to take a little longer while to cook, but you can you can make it to your size. Yeah. Because um, a portion size of this for, for someone who is selling it, they're going to give you like four to five of that. Okay. With your fish, some people add pigtail, but I don't usually, I don't eat no, pork. No, you keep enough. it traditional. Correct, traditional. <laughs> yeah, right. Usually my grandma show me this way, so I just keep it that way. So Sal, this is your grandma's yeah, recipe? Yeah, salt, black pepper, and all that, and her, and no MSG, you know, just real school, old school. And Fresh colantro. Yes, I'm Can't fresh forget that. Yes. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so it's almost ready now. You can just so notice it because the fish don't take long to cook, of also. Of course not. It smells so good. Yes, it's gonna taste good, and also. And you can't forget that <laughs> habanero. Yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. Wow. Can't miss out of this. So you're gonna have this available for people to be able to have tomorrow? Yeah, I'm gonna have this tomorrow. Um, you can call me, my number is 615-9360. I'm gonna have Saho, I'm gonna have Bundega, and on Friday I'm gonna do Tapo. Also, I'm gonna do Darasa on Friday also. And Hudut? No, uh, yeah, um, the Hudut also I'm gonna do on Friday, <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not gonna do nothing over the weekend because it's time for celebration. Then you're gonna party? That's you're gonna correct. stay in Belize City and party? Going to, I'm going home. Oh! <laughs> All right, so this should be, this should be it. Mm -hmm. All right, so pass this right on the side here. And now we're gonna. Now we're going to cook up that fish. Yeah, we're gonna cook up that fish. Half fry the fish, like what we mentioned earlier. Okay. A little bit of mouth. What do you find again. people prefer when it's boiled in the soup or when it's a little bit fried? When it's a little bit fried. Yeah, give it a little bit more flavor. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. So we have all oh, this. Yeah. This mm -hmm. <laughs> goes also. I could imagine. Yeah. So the recipe is so simple. You started off with seasoned coconut milk. Uh, some garlic in there, of course. That's correct. Because garlic makes everything better. Yeah. Uh, your green, your grated green banana dropped in there like dumplings. Yeah. Um, fresh colantro, habanero, and uh, put it to boil. That's correct. And now we're going to do the other version of the fish, which yeah. means we'll fry it a little bit. Yeah, we're going to half fry it. And then drop that right back into the soup. That's correct. Mm -hmm. We're going to drop a whole fried fish here yes. for you, Marlene. So after this, we're going to plate up That's a delicious that. breakfast. Yeah. So I just asked you to pour out this saho there for me in that bowl, please. And we're going to... Well, now, I it love Saha. You love it, like, right? <laughs> I love it. Whenever I get it, I like, whenever I make it, I like That's to add it. some brandy to it. So oh, does this one look. have brandy? No, no, no brandy. That's ah. one. <laughs> I usually add brandy to it, but you know. So when people make their order for their Saha on Friday, they could say with or without brandy? That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... <laughs> I guess if we had to say, it, like it's, it's almost like seaweed drink. Yeah. But 
not the same texture. Yeah, because yeah. it's, um, it's more richer than seaweed to yeah. me. Because the cassava, first of all, that's the feel, that color has yeah. starch in it. And also the coconut milk, I mean, wow. And the spices, good. it's sweet. If yeah. you didn't say that yeah. much, it's a sweet yeah. drink. Yeah. It's like a porridge that you have in the early morning. And our darasa? We're going to add that, we're going to do that as we're done. Fry okay. this fish right here. So just gonna, like what I said, we're gonna half fry the fish. Uh-huh. And we're gonna simmer that the rasa. This is making a feast for <laughs> our garifuna cooking segment. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I got some some herbs here that I'm gonna sprinkle right on top. Woohoo! You gotta like to uh, cook with some lot of fresh herbs. Mm -hmm. Some cilantro again. Yeah. Oh, wow, looks nice, right? Yes. <laughs> and you already had the, the fish seasoned up. Yeah, so people seasoned know with that salt much, and black yeah. pepper again. Uh -huh. Very simple and old school. Squeeze some lime to it. We're gonna like to add lime. Wow, nice flavor. That's so good. That's correct. A little bit of excitement so with this fish people, here. <laughs> Having a little fun. There you go. <laughs> Your chef Ainsley after all, yeah, right? Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody who's, who hasn't tried anything other than hudut uh, can get a little bit of a, a taste of many of the different dishes. Yeah. You have your bundiga, your darasa, your tapau, your yep. tapau, and your hudut. Yep. Um, all available today and Friday. So people yeah. just have to call in and make their order. So. Here, we're going to do the last thing now is our, what's the name of it again? The darasa. Oh, yeah. Yes, man. <laughs> I know my darasa. <laughs> and I made right. a, a good, healthy size serving. <laughs> this one is for you, Steven. <laughs> You're going to trust to eat it? <laughs> and then this is Chef Ainsley's one. Yeah. So meanwhile, we're going to plate, in, plate up. Meanwhile, this darasa is cooking, okay, right? Go ahead. So I want you to get involved now. All right. So. so, we have. Serve up this potion so you can just <laughs> scoop it right in the bowl. See, if the bundiga broke, you can't blame me, right? Well, you, 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 you ain't gonna broke it, cook already. <laughs> so, everything into the bowl. So, I put in the fish, you'll put the fish on the side. You can put the fish on top. Mm -hmm. This smells delicious. Tastes delicious also. <laughs> We're gonna get to the tasting part. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. So what's an average serving? Is uh, this too much or um? Well, that's that's that. that, that, that the first person <laughs> I want to use to, so this, the sample is you. So. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that is cool right there. Mm. Then you put your fish on top. The fried or the? How you like your one? I like my one half fried. There All we right. go. So this fried all the way through, but actually. Because it has that little extra flavoring in uh, there, yum. We could put two of them, you know. You want to fit? No, this one. Oh Yeah, yeah, two of them would be good, right? You add some pepper to it? Because I'm greedy. <laughs> Fish is good for you. Fish is protein, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> all right. And my good friend the habanero can go right there in the middle you getting that steven yeah this beautiful plate here you got a good picture there steven so i'm gonna do the decorating part i'm gonna first have a little fun with this fish <laughs> <laughs> do a little decoration here and Yum. then we're gonna do the gonna add some of this also for garnish a little bit of greenery Yummy, yummy. And we're gonna add, we can add in the darasa now, so. Put it in there? Yeah, that's correct. That's My correct. one will take longer to cook. Now I understand yeah, why you yeah. made your one yeah, thing. Yeah, the smaller you cook it, the faster you're gonna be, um, the faster you I was being cook. greedy and thinking of a, of a, of a, yeah, a spoon for you can start taste and give your opinion. So we have, let me, let me show you. This is our deluxe meal here. We have our sahau, which is yeah. a drink. Yeah. You wouldn't put it in a bowl, but we're doing a drink. And we have our bundega. Take a good look, Steven. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, let me get into some sampling here. Now the bundega is the actual dumpling. That's, That's what you correct. call it. Right? That's the bundega. 
Just like with the hodo, the hodo is the actual uh, plantain. Yeah, the plantain, the green and ripe plantain. Mmm, that's so good. That is delicious. <laughs> now, before I start acting all greedy, let me behave myself. We have to save it for the picture. All right. <laughs> there you have it, as simple as that. You made it this morning. Bunniga, coconut milk, uh, seasoning. Uh, we added some fish, green plantain, grated, dropped in as um, a dumpling. Mm -hmm. And now we're making from the same green plantain. With the coconut milk. With the coconut milk and some spices as well. Yeah. Uh, we're making the darasa. And then Getting we also there, have so. my favorite happening over here. Sahau. Woo hoo hoo. Now uh, this isn't how we'd have sahau. We drink it out of a cup. I usually I usually like mine in calabash. Oh you drink it out of a cup. So if it was a calabash <laughs> I'd be Yes, you're right. That <laughs> is how you have it traditionally, yeah. out of a calabash. But I'll be a little bit more polite today on TV and have yeah. it with a spoon. Mm. Creamy. Mm. <laughs> mm. Did you make this? Yeah. Woo. Very easy to make. <laughs> Delicious. I know. <laughs> I know. It's porridge. <laughs> it's on my face. <laughs> so you can order your Sahau when? Yeah, yeah. On Friday. <laughs> on Friday. Also, I like to big up everyone in Punta Gorda, my hometown. I got to uh -huh. big up you guys. Big up Belize today in a whole. Big up and thanks to all the ones who support me. I don't have to say enough thanks for that, so... And we appreciate you coming in and sharing these recipes. Of course, you could give your... Uh, we were talking about being able to talk the language. Yeah, And yeah. whatnot. You could do a greeting in Garifuna too, you know. Yeah, yeah. Put <laughs> <laughs> you on the spot. You're going home this weekend. You're going to say yeah, it's not yeah. wrong. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm going home. <laughs> Painy. Yes. One of my favorite places. All right, so... Yeah, and well, lastly, we the, get to see the darasa. Yeah, this one is the smallest one, so this one should be 